Today is 9-1-2017 and I'm giving you an update on Hurricane Irma. And you can see this screenshot here, yesterday's video I put up in regards to her, she now has over 43,000 views. She's a monster and she's going to continue to be a monster until she makes landfall. The water's warm and the conditions are right, so she's just going to continue to strengthen. And this is a really interesting update that I'm going to give you today because I have new information and also, you know, just some really very intriguing information here that I want to share with you um, in regards to this monster hurricane that we're somebody's going to have to deal with um, pretty soon. It's going to be over a week away probably, but yeah, it's going to happen. Now, of course, the other hurricane that we just dealt with, and that hit Houston, of course, a big city, and that was Hurricane Harvey. Now, the videos I put up in regards to this have gotten a lot of views. This one right here, over 285,000 views. People have a strong interest in this, obviously, because they want to help people. And this is one of the videos I put up that can help people. When it first, the need was first made that they needed boats out there, I put that out there at 285,000 views. People from Louisiana and many other people all over the country came to help them. So this, this is a powerful thing, YouTube. When you put these videos up, it can influence a lot of people and it can help a lot of people. And here's some more videos, over 108,000, this video I put up. And then another one here, this is a really important one that I put up here in regards to the um, Louisiana Cajun Navy, where these boaters, a group of boaters that help people in floods, and they went out there and they gave these people a lot of help. This has over 171,000 views. Now, tonight I want to talk about HARP. Some of you are aware of it, some of you may not be. Most people are. If you've been a subscriber for my... For, uh, on my channel for a while, you probably know about HARP because I've talked about it numerous times. It's weather modification is what it is. I mean, the technology today is just incredible. And here in the United States, we have some of the best technology in the world. And here's a video where I put up where Dr. Uh, David Walker talked about HARP. He's a U.S. Air Force doctor. doctor and he talked about HARP, and, it, and he talks about how it's used for weather modification. So that's what it is, what, uh, modified weather. And that, uh, that means you could create powerful storms. <laughs> And I've seen it happen, and I know it does happen. Uh, so this is very important because who is in control of this could uh, do good things or do bad things. And that's the problem right there. Here's a video I put up, Harp demonstrating high-tech weather modification. And you see this incredible-looking storm over my house. This they showed and I shared with you. Another one, Harp weather modification. You know. And harp weather modification evidence exposed the agenda and get blasted with thunderstorms. That was this time they didn't want me to um, do this, I guess. And I showed where they created this incredible thunderstorm right south of my house and brought it over. And they did this three times in a row. And so, yeah, these videos get a lot of likes. They're very interesting. And you want to check those out, you know, feel free to do so. And then, you know, it's not likely for us here in the New Orleans area to have an EF3 tornado. EF3 tornado, it's like what you get in Tornado Alley. You know, north of us, this is where the big ones happened. But this big tornado happened right there, February 7th, 2017. Uh, this is in New Orleans East. This thing was a monster. Look at the size of this thing. It's what you see out in, the, out in Tornado Alley. And uh, this thing came through the New Orleans area, close by the city, not far from the city, a few miles from the city. And, it, yeah, EF3. This is weather modification. This is harp right here. <laughs> That's exactly what's going on. No doubt about that. Here's an incredible um, video that I put up here. And most of these videos have all likes, as you can see, 16 likes, no dislikes. This was December of 2015. And this is just showing you right here what HARP can do. You see this open air where they open the clouds up? That's not a plane that did that. That's, that's a huge area you're seeing right there. And I captured this. I even remember this was so impressive to me that when I um, captured this video, I, I know where I was on my way to Biloxi, Mississippi. I remember it like it was yesterday. And you see this big open air that they opened up. This is harp water, uh, modification of the clouds right there, and you see it. And, and yeah, I was, I was um, going over the uh, twin span, headed uh, just almost in Slidell, headed towards Biloxi when this happened back in December 30th, 2015. Now, this is what I want to talk about, too. And this is important to make note right here. This is the top four largest cities in the United States. Houston's at number four right there. Now, what do we know about Houston? It just got hit with major flooding, like 50 inches of rain. Who ever heard of 50? I mean, we're talking about feet feet of rain. Feet of rain, not inches, feet. That's how, that's how much rain they got from the storm. 
it like it never ended and now it's still up there it's headed towards I think uh, um, Illinois and uh, Tennessee and, and Kentucky and it's flooding them up there now <laughs> this is insane this is weather modification that's what this is this is a heart created storm that was meant to produce a lot of rain now why it ended up in the fourth largest city I don't know who's controlling this stuff I don't know but you know we need to get to control of this so yeah, there you can see Houston's fourth largest city. Now they're saying 2.3 million right there, but actually the surrounding area of Houston has over 6 million people. But there's no doubt about it. Nobody questions that it's the fourth largest city in the, in the United States, and that tells you right there it's huge. It's huge. Okay, you see New York's ranked at number one. That's the biggest city. We all know that too. New York is the biggest city. So um, Houston just got hit, flooded like ridiculous amount of rain from this uh, Hurricane Harvey. And, uh, and now, so this, just make note of that, because that, there's a reason I'm telling you this. Okay, so a few days ago, on August the 22nd, that was just a few days ago, a tornado warning for New York. And I even put that up. You can see, this is from August 22nd. What do I have? Harp. I have Harp in the title right there, because this is, this is weather modification. They brought these tornadoes. And they, it, what, it was the craziest thing is, uh, if you go see that video, the tornado was in warning for like several hours. There's one after another. And some of them lasted for a long time, and they were striking New York City. They were, they were New York City, tornado warning, coming to New York City. I mean, this is, this is strange. This is not normal. <laughs> and this went on for hours on August 22nd, 2017. I can, you can go see that video. I have it up. And like I said, I put harp in the title. Now, this is where it gets very interesting. So what do we know? Houston was targeted. New York was targeted before Houston. This was back on... August 22nd, I put this video up. So, so the, out of the four biggest cities in the country, um, New York was targeted, and then Houston was targeted. New York, number one. Houston, number four. Now, here's where it gets really interesting in this video right here. Some people are starting to put the videos up. Will Hurricane Irma hit New York on 9-11-2017? And you see some videos that people have already created. I've already been aware of this going on before the people even put these videos up because people have been contacting me and there was even a, a question left on my video. And my thought is, in my head has been for a while, um, are they going to ever do something on 9-11 to take away the memory of, of, the, um, of what happened in New York? Now, some people think that was a false flag that happened in New York. And people still talk about that. And so... I don't know. Um, I, I'm just saying, you know, it, there could be one day something to take away. They try to catastrophic thing that would make them stop thinking about what some people claim could be a false flag. And, and uh, it was a horrible thing regardless. Um, you know, it was absolutely horrible thing. It was a horrible thing that happened to the biggest city in the United States. And we don't, you know, it's, it's hard to forget it. You'd like to forget it. You'd like that it didn't happen, but it did, unfortunately. And so, yeah, so you see these videos coming out now. Um, Will Irma hit New York on 9 one And I'll say this, it's possible. It's definitely possible. It's a scary thought, but it's possible. In fact, here's the comment right here that came in 10 hours ago. Bill Harvey. Oh, I didn't even think of that. <laughs> I just noticed that. Uh, maybe this is just coincidence, but Harvey is the name <laughs> of the um, hurricane that, that, um, that flooded Houston. So is that just coincidence? I don't know. But there, he posted a comment on my video. It's still on there. Um... You can go see it. Yeah, it's still on that on the video. In regards to my last hurricane up about um, Hurricane Irma, that's where that comment is. If you want to go see it, it's on the the one that I showed you at the beginning of this um, video that has what forty something thousand views on it, um, where I say she's a monster. It's that's where that comment is. You have to scroll down. It got a lot of comments on that video, so. You have to scroll down. You keep scrolling down and, and hitting extra comments, and you'll find that one on there. And I replied right there, but that is odd. He has that name Harvey because that's the name of the hurricane. Um, Bill, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's just coincidence. Uh, you know, I know with false flags and things like that, there's a lot of these strange names. I talk about that all the time, these names that, that are included in false flags. And some of these false flags, we've even seen actors you know, I talk about that, the Pulse nightclub. You can see that video. The evidence is there. But anyway, yeah, yeah, Bill Harvey, um, and I responded. I said, I was thinking it could hit somewhere on 9-11, but New York, that is scary. Largest city in the U.S. That was my reply right there. And here's the latest uh, enhanced satellite image of, of, um, of Irma. 
Yeah. Latest one there, and you can see a well-defined eye. And here's the, uh, one of the latest tracks here. You can see it has it as a three. Now into 2 p.m. Wednesday, 130 miles an hour Category 4. And many people are saying, and I believe also, it very well probably will end up a Category 5, which is a monster. It's already a monster, but it could be even bigger monster. So it's slowly going this way. A week from now, it's still not going to be hitting anywhere. It's got a ways to go. And here's some of the spaghetti models, and you can see they're starting to turn this thing kind of north, kind of like going up the northeast coast, and that could take it into New York. It could take it into some other areas, but New York is definitely a possibility, and that's a scary thought, like I said. Now, I want you to watch these videos. Um, yeah, it's definitely a possibility, and, and it could happen. New York could be the target. That's a scary thought with the amount of people there, and, you know... In the, in the ferocity of this monster storm, that would be a very scary thought. But yeah, I addressed it. That possibility is there. You can see the newest updates. Now, watch these two videos because uh, this, our, one of our best local meteorologists here talks about how this and why this thing could very well go up to the East Coast. And there's a cool, there's a cool front that's coming into the Louisiana New Orleans area. And it's probably going to help keep it out of, out of the, um, possibly out of the Gulf of Mexico. Not absolutely for sure, but possibly. And this would help to also sway it with other conditions to sway it up towards the East Coast. So Here's watch these two videos, right leave comments, right share this. Things miles getting hour, moving towards the west at 13. We'll continue to be out here and maybe dip a little southward a little bit, but again, a three or a four hurricane over the next several days as it may skirt just north of the islands of the Caribbean Sea. Then after that, our next fall front coming next week may play a part in where Irma goes. We'll detail that in my pinpoint forecast. Here's a GFS model. By Wednesday, our highest chance of rain will be because of a front, not because of anything in the tropics. But again, a lot of this moisture may surge in our direction. Then this front moves on towards Florida, and we're left with nice conditions for Thursday, Friday into the weekend. But you can see this front will help to turn Irma to the north. And you can see by maybe uh, Monday, maybe along the mid-Atlantic seaboard, so something to watch, or maybe the northeastern United States. European model shows it, the front coming through, there it is through Florida, and the European model also starts to turn it. This one could affect parts of the southeast or the mid-Atlantic as well, according to that model. And again, it does look like this trough, the one that brings the front through us on Wednesday, will help to guide it more to turning it. So right now, looking like going towards the west is not more of a likely scenario at this point.